Welcome to this week's TDD Weekly Report for the week ending September 5th, and this will be my last report about on-the-road stuff that I've seen on Route 66 that is science or geeky type of stuff, and this is featuring the Stonehenge replica at the University of Missouri at Rolla. So if you get a chance and you're in that area touring Route 66 in Missouri, be sure and stop by and see the Stonehenge replica. And here's a little bit of my video, and then I will narrate a couple of slide pictures thereafter. One month, yeah, they did it in one month. Pro probably took Stonehenge, probably took centuries. Yeah. What, at least decades. 15,000 PSI water jets cut this stone out. So. Really? Huh. So this, this half-scale Stonehenge replica was done in one month, whereas who knows what the original was. I'd be surprised if it was totally completed in less than a century. I mean, what'd you have then? Maybe, you know, just brute, brute force and maybe some pulleys and stuff to get those things up. But anyway, here's what it looks like. We've got a bunch of plaques here. I wonder if they do, do they have it oriented the right way maybe for the sun? I, hope so. I think, I would think so, yeah. Okay. Yep, they've got it. The true position of the equinoctial, equin, yeah, equinoctial sunrise, March 21st and September 21st, can be observed by standing over the UMR Stonehenge marker and sighting above the notch on top of the cast compass stone. The actual view of the sunrise is about two degrees farther south. Do not stand on the analema. It's going to reflect oh. down in here. Yep. So there you go. Yep. Just about. That's cool. Look at that. Oh, huh. Interesting. That would put a uh, shadow in there like that. I guess, yeah, you know, when that lines up with the line, or that's September, and April will be like that, and then the tip of it will be how much into that month it is. That's pretty cool. I bet you that's this right here, maybe, where this makes an angle, or in August, and this, well, it would be, you would have to be, what do they do, it's at noon each time? So we're actually, oh, yeah, so we're actually past it. It would have been here, maybe. Towards the end of August, going into September, yeah. and since we came late, yeah. well, not really a lot late. What is it? But it's daylight savings time. Make it two o'clock. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah. So it's two hours off. Yeah. So if you come here at noon each time, you'll probably see this corner of that capstone over there. Each day as it rays past the hole in an analema plate, below the lintel of the south. Yeah. You just had to guess yeah, each time when the sun got, yeah, you just put a stick in the ground and when the sun got the highest, so, yeah. it cast the least shadow. Yeah. Here we are coming up on the Stonehenge replica, and by the way, the original took about a thousand years to build according to the plaque. There's plaques on all of the different upright monoliths explaining everything, so if you just read the plaques, you'll be able to figure pretty much everything out. Just read the particular plaques and what they say about how to use it as a calendar and a clock. Here's the center marker where you stand on if you want to use it as a calendar. And then here is the analema. If you see the spot there in the lower center part, that's the spot. It's not in the right place, obviously, because it's not noontime. And there's the little plate. Here's a farther view of the analema plate. And that's it for this week's TDD Weekly Report. I will catch you guys next week.